and has very good balance. He can help you walk the beam. Now, friends, would you like to draw an ibex with us? Yes! I will begin with the head. OK. What does her head look like? Very impressive. The ibex has huge horns. Just watch. I draw a little ear here and a big horn bending back. Wow! What a big horn! <laughs> I continue by drawing another large horn and finally his second ear. Louis, I'll help you. <laughs> On his horns, I draw some little lines. There. And then, Yoko, I finish his head by drawing a boot like shape and I add a little goaty woaty beard. And me? I'll draw his eyes, a little black round nose, and his mouth. Voila! Well done, Yoko. And now I draw his little neck. A line straight across for his back. And I come down to draw his tail like a little triangle. Doesn't he have legs? Yes, four, Sophie. I'll draw them. I'll draw them. One. Two. Don't forget his tummy, Yoko. Mm, three. And four. And I'll draw four little lines like this to make his hooves. Bravo, Yoko! And I'll draw a line up to his head. Voila! And now, Yoko, all that we have to do is... Colour him in! <laughs> Hello there, friends. My name is Walter, the Great Beamwalker. Hello there, Walter. My little sister would like to do a beam walking act for her performance. A performance? You three are in luck. I love doing performances. And with my anti-skid hooves, I can jump on the steepest rocks imaginable. And up. And up. And up. up. Oh, wow. Oh. What do you think of that? Well done. But wouldn't you like to help Sophie? Pardon? Hold on a minute. You haven't seen everything I can do. Ah, <laughs> what's this? I don't oh. think he's very nice. We ask him to help and all he can do is show off. I know what we have to do. To draw an ibex, you start with the head. You draw a small ear, a large horn bending round. You continue by drawing his second horn and his second ear. 
and you draw some little lines on his horns. Then you finish his head by drawing a boot-like shape and you add a little goaty woaty beard. Then you draw his eyes, his little nose and his mouth. You draw his neck straight across for his back. You come back down to draw his tail like a little triangle. And you draw his legs. One, two, his tummy, three and four. And don't forget the hooves. Then you come back up to the head and afterwards you can colour him in however you like. Hello, my name's Adrian. Can I help you? Yes! Can you teach my little sister to walk on the beam? Of course! <laughs> Sophie, come to me with your arms out. Use your umbrella to keep your balance. Wait, wait! Most importantly, you should never look down, but always look ahead. Like that? Yes! Like that! Well, well done, Sophie! Thank you, Adrian. You're a very good teacher. Mm. And now, friends, if you'd like to draw an Ibex, have a go! See you, you soon, soon then, friends! See you soon!